grandpa passed away a few years ago. I was always very close with him. This past July on his birthday, I paid him a visit at the cemetery. The cemetery he and my grandma chose to be buried at was about an hour drive from my apartment. My family lived closer, so they all went to his grave together. I had to go separately. It was a rainy, depressing day, and there's nothing worse than visiting a cemetery on a gloomy day. The gatekeeper at the gate asked for the plot number. I gave it to him and he let me in. It's a pretty big cemetery, and I'd only been there a couple other times. Not as the driver though, so I had a hard time finding it. I didn't see many other people, if any, at the cemetery that day. I'm sure the weather had something to do with it. Eventually I found his stone and parked my car in the grass to the side. I put some flowers down under his stone, stood there for a while with my eyes closed and prayed. When I finished my prayer, I opened my eyes and looked up. There was an old man standing about five rows of graves down but directly across from me, and he was looking right at me. I knew this man, though. It was my grandfather. But no, it couldn't be. I rubbed my eyes. He was gone. Did I just have a spiritual moment? Or were my eyes and mind playing tricks on me? Either way, I got the chills and I had goosebumps. I was quite honestly freaked out. I got back in my car, said, Love you, Grandpa, and drove off. I felt like I had a headache on my way home, not sure why. I was the only car on Prospect Road, a quiet road with dense forest on either side. Commonly there would be deer crossing here. As my car zipped down the road, I spotted someone on the side of the road coming up, which was odd. There were no sidewalks or a walking path on this road. I slowed down, and it couldn't be. It looks like my grandpa again. When I realized this, my heart dropped a thousand feet, and I swerved the car accidentally. I desperately tried to regain control and come to a stop. Luckily, my car didn't end up in a tree, rather just skidded out in the middle of the road until coming to a halt. I immediately looked back to where I saw him, and I saw a deer on the side of the road, looking at my car. My heart was literally racing, I was terrified. I was not well, and I needed to get home. I made sure no cars were coming and got back in my lane. I focused on the road as best I could given what I had just seen twice. I felt weird the rest of the day. Not sick, but something wasn't right with my head. I went to bed early after watching an episode of my show. I woke up at like 2 in the morning to my phone ringing. It was an unknown number. My heart started racing again. Any call at this hour couldn't be good news. I accepted the call and put the phone up to my ear. There was static on the other end. Finally, I said, hello? More static. But what I thought I heard next, I couldn't believe. Just briefly, for maybe half a second, I thought I heard my grandpa's voice over the static. I tried to say hello again, but I was too shook. Every part of my body was actually shaking. Then, the call cut to silence and ended. I called my phone provider the next day to trace the number. They couldn't. They didn't have enough data to trace it, apparently. The events that took place that day and night were the scariest I have ever experienced. Do I think my dead grandpa was trying to contact me? I don't know, because that sounds ridiculous. You'd think if you experienced something like this, you'd be so full of emotion and joy. But no, it still terrifies me, and I really still don't know what to think or how to feel about it. Whether it sounds ridiculous or not, this happened, and I wonder almost every other night, was that really my grandpa on the phone?